This isn't the site of a nuclear accident. It's the parking lot of a taco time in Pocatello, Idaho. It's among many contaminated sites in the Pocatello Soda Springs area. So why is this parking lot radioactive? It has everything to do with radioactive slag that the Monsanto phosphate processing plant sold to the town of Pocatello and they made bridges, roads, parking lots, foundations, schools, all kinds of stuff with this radioactive slag. So it can be found all over the town of Pocatello and Soda Springs pretty easily if you have a Geiger counter. The Monsanto processing plant in Soda Springs would process all this ore and extract elemental phosphorus, which then they would convert into phosphate and use that in glyphosate, which is the key component in their herbicide Roundup. So that's where phosphorus and phosphate goes. It goes into glyphosate for Roundup, for that herbicide, which is pretty toxic to humans and we shouldn't be spraying it anyway, but we are. But the main concern here is about the radioactive slag that was used for three decades until someone got wind of it at the EPA and said, hang on a second, we should stop using this stuff because it's radioactive and it's contaminating this entire community. And so back in the early 80s, they did a aerial survey of this place and finding that it was radioactive. They had a helicopter flying around with a detector that would actually try and pinpoint out the areas of radiation so they could see where the contamination was. And they tried to approach the town of Soda Springs and Pocatello to see if they wanted to go forward in declaring their town's Superfund sites, which of course no one wanted to do. And so they kicked the EPA out and now they're kind of at this uh, point now where they just have these contaminated properties. And it's a real problem because if those people want to sell these properties, they're going to have some real problems because no one's going to want to buy a radioactive house. So what they'd have to do is actually rip out the foundations or rip out the driveways or rip out the sidewalks or rip off the roofs because sometimes the, the shingles on there are radioactive because they're made with the same slag. But it shouldn't be the homeowners that are responsible for this. It should be Monsanto. They're the ones that sold this radioactive slag to these towns for them to use as a building material. So the homeowners shouldn't be on the hook for this. It should be Monsanto. This map of Pocatello has the overlay from the radiological flyover the EPA did back in 1986, showing the level of exposure adjusted for ground level in micro rem per hour. So you can find radioactive hotspots all over Pocatello and Soda Springs. Now this radiation isn't uh, too intense, it's about eight times above background radiation, but that same type of radiation I was finding at sites like the Trinity site, which is where they detonated the first atomic bomb. And so that radiation was just slightly higher than the radiation you would find here at Pocatello or Soda Springs. And so that's kind of concerning that an area that actually tested an atomic bomb 70 years ago is almost as radioactive, or the parking lot's almost as radioactive as that site. So that's not really something I think is nothing, even though it is a low level of radiation, it still shouldn't be here in the first place. Still, it's interesting to see that that can be found in a place like this, because you wouldn't normally think that this would happen uh, in a spot like Pocatello or Soda Springs, Idaho. So it's interesting to see that you can find areas like this that are contaminated and will be contaminated forever unless they were to tear up this parking lot and remove all that old slag that's underneath this asphalt. Because I don't know how, I don't know when this parking lot was actually made, but I do know that the phosphate uh, processing plant and mining operation started in 1952 here. This process is making these giant radioactive mountains. And these whole areas are actually designated Superfund sites. But from what I've seen, nothing is being done to slow this down. These mountains grow every day. 
And this isn't just a small problem. This is a constant, ongoing problem that seems to have no end in sight. Pocatello is pretty beautiful. It's got some uh, cool old houses and some really cool looking trees. Still doesn't make it any less radioactive, but I guess a little more tolerable. Now, it may not look it, but this alleyway <laughs> is radioactive. Just a little bit though. It's like not as radioactive as that parking lot, but there's definitely some action going on around here. What makes this alleyway and other areas like this radioactive are radioactive elements that have been concentrated together in the processing of phosphorus ore. Elements like uranium, radium, and thorium. That is what causes these areas to be radioactive because those are radioactive elements. Soda Springs got its name from naturally carbonated spring water that would come up from the ground. The problem is a lot of that above ground water flows right past the mining site and the processing plant and that becomes contaminated with selenium. Selenium is toxic to humans and to wildlife. There are stories of livestock drinking this contaminated water and dying from it. So I'm in Soda Springs, Idaho now, and this is the town where the Monsanto now bear phosphate processing plant is. And this is where they would get, this is where Pocatello and Soda Springs would get the slag that they used in these parking lots and homes and stuff like that. So I'm in front of the high school here in Soda Springs, and this bus drop-off area here has an elevated level of radiation. It's not that bad, but it is around 200 counts per minute and 35 counts per minute is the normal background. So it is elevated a little bit, but I don't think that poses any type of health risk to anyone because that is a very low level of radiation, but it is still there. It's still something that it can be detected and you know pretty easily with this detector right here. But it isn't anything to really be concerned about, but it is kind of, interesting when you're driving through an area and all of a sudden if you have your Geiger counter running it starts to go off and showing increased levels of radiation and so it was an interesting uh, mystery for myself to figure out when I first started doing this because I didn't know why these areas were radioactive. Uh, they were selling all this radioactive slag to the town of Pocatello and to Soda Springs and they were using it as building material for houses, for driveways, for parking lots, uh, at schools and stuff like that and so it's all over the place, but I don't think it really poses much of a health risk for people that are uh, coming here and dropping off their kids or kids going to school here. I mean, it shouldn't pose that much of a health risk, but I think inside of people's homes, that's probably a different story because your level expo of exposure is far greater inside of your house than it would be like going to a fast food place or to school for four years. Because if you're living in your home for 50 you know 20 or 50 years and you're down in this basement and that's your entertainment area and you're being exposed to all this additional level of radiation and then that could be a problem so something to think about if you're moving to soda springs or pocatello just you know have your geiger counter ready flying over the residential area of soda springs you can see the giant radioactive slag pile not too far away this mountain of radioactive slag grows bigger every day. The processing of phosphorus ore runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. At night, the dumping of this radioactive slag can be seen much easier and is quite a sight. A large truck with a cauldron comes from the smelting area and backs into a gate, which heats up the slag before it's poured. The 
This lights up the night sky. On average, there's one of these slag dumps every 15 minutes. That cloud of smoke coming up contains mercury vapor, along with airborne radionuclides, like polonium, radium, and uranium. I could see why the people of Pocatello and Soda Springs didn't want to declare this area a Superfund site. Problem is, it's still contaminated. It will be forever. Until that slag is removed. Even though this is an extremely low level of radiation and shouldn't pose a threat to anyone, it's still there. There's no reason why people should be living with that unnecessarily. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.